the friends. Hello. Nicole here. That's the Kylie bear behind the camera. My husband, Kyle, of course, doing a super cool video for you that you're gonna wanna see. Eat this, not that. a lot don't you guys ever get cravings how do you eat the same things every day answer is yes we do get cravings and for those of you that are new we do allow ourselves one day a week called a cheat day where we eat anything that we want as much as we want but during the week if we do get cravings we found alternatives that are just as tasty so we thought we would show you guys some of the things that we crave and alternatives that we eat instead. I call them diet hacks. Diet hacks, baby. Let's do the first one. Peanut butter. Kyle's all-time favorite food, peanut butter. One of them. I would say peanut butter and ketchup, but not together. That would be really gross. Um, okay, so peanut butter. It can be pretty high in fat and calories, and we do like to eat lower fat. So what we choose instead, powdered peanut butter. You can get it in the regular form. You can get it also chocolate powdered peanut butter as well. What I love about this is you can use just the powder to flavor anything like smoothies, yogurt, cottage cheese, but you can also mix it with water to create an actual peanut butter like consistency, which you can spread on rice cakes. You can dip fruit in it. You can put it on whatever you normally put peanut butter on. And there's really barely any fat in it. Um, so there is a huge difference in fat. There is seven grams difference in fat. Sorry, there there is four grams difference in fat between the two and you get more, a bigger serving size of the powdered peanut butter than you do the regular. Breakfast food. I have a major thing for breakfast food lately. Pancakes, breakfast sandwiches, um, you know, like the typical fast food breakfast sandwiches. So I created my own lower fat version that a loving YouTube follower has lovingly called the Nick Muffin. <laughs> and it's a great name. This tastes just as good and I've even added a slice of low fat or lean black forest ham in there to make it more like your typical like, you know, like the sausage and egg muffins that you can get. But it, it's just a lot lower calorie. I use a whole wheat English muffin, a fat free cheese slice, a whole large egg, two egg whites, a little bit of sea salt. I scramble the eggs together cook it up in a nice pan, fold it, put it in, top it with the cheese slice. You can even put the ham, like I said, I do that sometimes. Whoa, who needs fast food restaurants when you got that? You could even do, if you wanted to do even lower fat, like obviously you use the fat-free cheese slice, you could just use egg whites as well. You could, but I prefer the flavor of the egg in there. And you also don't want to remove all healthy fats from your diet, you do need some. And having an egg in my diet it's good for my skin and my hair, baby. <laughs> also, <laughs> pancakes. I love pancakes. Sometimes I make my own using oat flour. Sometimes I don't feel like cooking and I just want an easy, lazy hack for pancakes. Protein, pancake, and baking mix. I get the flapjack kind at Marshall's and Winners. They, they come in different flavors. Like there's an apple one, there's a banana hazelnut one. What I love about this is it's pretty, we don't track calories or macros, but we always look at the labels anyway and choose the best macro count out of everything. And this is pretty darn good. And you get a good serving. It makes three good size pancakes. And for those of you that are syrup lovers for your pancakes, instead of the full sugar, we get this. Yeah, instead of that one. We get the Mrs. Butterworth no sugar added. This is our favorite syrup. It tastes the most like pancake syrup. And really, you don't 
I don't notice that it's sugar free. It actually tastes pretty darn good. And we've taste tested a bunch of brands and that is the best one. It really is. Also, if you're a little daring, you can add sugar free chocolate chips to that pancake mix, makes it even better. So speaking of sugar free chocolate chips, if you're a sweet person like me and you crave sweets a lot, like, you know, things like chocolate, M&Ms, um, ice cream. Well, for sweets, I found some really good alternatives. First of all, these are one of my favorites for chocolate, sugar-free chocolate chips. They're stevia sweetened. I find these in the health food aisle at our Zayers grocery store in Canada, but um, you can also find them on Amazon. Another thing I love, hot chocolate. You can find the light version at pretty much most grocery stores. It tastes just as good and it's pretty low in calories and sugar. Another one of our favorite things to do if we're craving sweet things like desserts are these fat-free jello pudding mixes and the sugar-free or no calorie added jello. These are sorry, no calorie, or the five calorie per cup jellos. They have no sugar, both the pudding mixes and the jellos. And this is super easy to make. I literally mix two cups of this non-dairy milk with the jello powder and it thickens pretty quickly and it's super tasty. It gets out that sweet dessert craving as do these jellos. And these come in different flavors, so does the pudding. And they're so tasty. And to make them even better, we top it with this. This is 95% fat-free Cool Whip. It is so good. You get three tablespoons, which is quite a bit. And it also satisfies if you are craving ice cream. It also satisfies the ice cream craving. There's also things like Halo Top and there is lower calorie Ben and Jerry's now and those are all really good but I love, I have to say, I, I love my fat free Cool Whip. Like I love this stuff. It, it really helps me get through to the cheat day. It helps keep me on track and it really does satisfy any sweet tooth that craving that I have. Now for the last one, if you are a salty or a savory person and you crave stuff like chips and popcorn, these are our go-to hacks for these. So these special K chips are amazing. They are chip crackers or cracker chips or whatever you want to call them. Special K, they're so good. You get 17 of them, um, 17 of them for three grams of fat. 14 carbs and one sugar. And that's what we and do. We're portion control people. So always we just read the label, take the serving. Yeah, we we don't actually count calories or macros, but we do serving sizes. So 17 chips is quite a lot and they come in a ton of good flavors. They, there's like, they come in all, all kinds of different flavors. There's a sweet and salty one. There's a sour cream and onion. This cheddar version is really good. There are so many and it really does get out the chip craving. And if you have a popcorn thing, which I am obsessed with popcorn, this Smart Pop, it's Orville Redenbacher's Smart Pop. It's 94% fat free. You can eat the whole bag, which is my favorite thing because I like eating lots. <laughs> so for portion control, I eat the whole bag and if I'm craving a flavor of some sort, I use these kernel seasonings because there's not really any calories or anything in them. This, I have salt and vinegar and white cheddar, but there are a ton of different flavors. What I do is I pop the bag, I spray it with butter flavored cooking spray, and then I sprinkle on my seasonings so that the seasonings stick since I'm not using butter. And I spray, toss it, Spray, toss it. Well, sorry. Spray, sprinkle, toss. Spray, sprinkle, toss. And then I get whatever kind of popcorn I want for a really low calorie and fat count. So, the friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video. You can lose weight and eat what you love. You can look forward to everything that you're eating. You don't have to give anything up. The coolest thing about 2020 is that 
you can literally find alternatives to anything that you're craving. Or it's super quick, like this Nick Muffin, to make up yourself because of all of the low calorie, low carb, low sugar options out there. So if you're wanting to lose weight this year, you can do it and not deprive yourself. You can literally satisfy any craving you have with these alternatives or alternatives like these. You can love the journey, lose the weight, maybe not dance like me, but you can still be cool. You can still have fun. Yeah. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned because got more cool videos like this coming, baby. Check us out on Instagram at the Colettes if you can't get enough of us and want to see more, which I know you do. And now we do the fancy dance. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're having problems not dancing. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Colette. See ya. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Bite through it. You can do 